have an exciting announcement for you guys this week. As of almost a week and a half ago, I got engaged! Woohoo! I know I've talked a little bit about life milestones and stuff on the channel before, and I mentioned back in that original video, which you can watch up here, that I wasn't ready for a lot of those things. Well, it turns out I'm ready for one of them, and that is getting engaged and eventually married to the wonderful Eugene. When a major life event happens to you, a lot of people are very excited for you, and it's awesome knowing that you have a lot of love and support from family and friends, but at the same time, you start getting a lot of the same questions. So without further ado, for all of you watchers, viewers who have not gotten engaged or had a major milestone like this, um, here are the five questions that you will get over and over and over again. Number one, let me see the ring! I don't have it. <laughs> Long story short, the ring wasn't quite right, the right size, so it is getting resized, and unfortunately the way that works with most jewelry stores is it takes a little bit. So hopefully by the end of this week I'll have my ring back and it will fit properly and it will be beautiful, it already is beautiful, but it'll be even more beautiful because it'll be on the right finger. I had to wear it on my pinky for the first day I had it, which was kind of interesting and I think confused a few people. But Did you have any idea? No. No idea. I was completely surprised. I had no clue that this was going to happen, and apparently a lot of my friends and family knew, and no one gave me any sort of hint. Uh, which is kind of interesting, because the one friend who knew had lunch with me the Friday before we headed out of town for this big engagement brouhaha, and she managed to sit through an entire hour-long lunch with me and not drop the fact that I was getting engaged that weekend. Number three! How did he do it? Well, we went to OU to visit some friends for the weekend. Uh, OU is the college we both attended, it's where we met, um, so obviously it was a place with a lot of significance for us, and it kind of made sense. Um, I kind of ruined the original plan, which was he was going to propose on the steps of the house that I lived at through most of college, or through my last couple years of college, and that's where we spent a lot of time. However, I was a lazy jerk who said I didn't want to walk that far. And so we went for the College Green on campus instead, which is kind of the heart and soul of campus. It's uh, this huge green space with a lot of twisty, windy paths, and it's surrounded by all the beautiful brick buildings. And there's the College Gate, which is kind of the entrance point from campus to the town. And so I think it was a pretty appropriate spot. It was one, beautiful, and two, it was just a moment for the two of us, because no one else was around. We were just on the monument there talking and it was kind of a perfect moment and I'm really glad it happened the way it did. Number four! Do you have a date picked out? No! Stop asking! I got engaged a week ago! I have not planned any of this. Number five! Do you know where you're having the wedding? Nah. <laughs> this is another one of those things where we don't really have this part planned out. Um, one, we have family scattered across the state. We're from two different areas of the same state. So no matter where we pick, people are going to have to travel. We have family out of the country. We have family in other states. No matter what, we're going to have a lot of people coming in from out of town no matter where we pick. So it's kind of the debate of what's convenient for who and what has what we need and what we want in a wedding. Basically it boils down to any questions related to when, where, who, what, the wedding. We've got a lot of time to figure that out. Um, we, pro we aren't planning on getting married like in the next six months or anything like that. This is no rushed affair. Um, I'm not even one of those people who have had every single detail of her wedding planned out since the age of 16 or anything like that. This is just kind of, we're, we're figuring it out one step at a time. I do have one thing I know for sure. I know exactly who's going to be in my wedding as my bridesmaids. So I think that's a pretty good first step. I know who's going to be standing up with me on the altar. And that's a start. It's going to be a long, crazy journey. It's going to be a wonderful journey. It will probably be a stressful journey at times, but I'm very, very excited about this. Um, it's... It's getting married, and it's a huge adventure, and it leads to a huge another adventure called The Rest of Your Life. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically how it's going to go. Obviously, as this craziness known as a wedding progresses, you're going to hear all about it. and. The crazy milestones that happen along the way. So, welcome to the ride, and I'll see you next time.